All right, here's a video on how to lay out a radius, a large radius with uh, the Construction Master Pro. And uh, the, the parameters are usually set for you. So right there I've got Construction Master Pro. It's the version 4065, version 3.1. And the parameters 100 foot radius, 50 foot cord, and we're gonna do it in five foot increments. So it looks like we got, uh, uh, there's some things you got to set up. So if you go store five, it'll tell you that the on center is 36. We want five foot. So we're going to go five. So you had to hit clear first five foot store in five. Now it says right there on center five foot. And then you want to check the other parameters. So clear, hit convert store and it'll tell you all your stored things here. If you want to change that from eights, your uh, precision, you just hit the arrow up or down. It'll give you all your precisions, right? The, like eighth of an inch. Just easier to remember. Plenty. It's usually a large radius like this eighth would, eighth would be fine. And hit store again. Area standard. Volume standard. Head. It's interesting that they give you the headroom here, but your stairs and treads are somewhere else. Rake, uh, so just like a rake ascending, it could be rake descending or ascending. And we have away from the walls, what I would say it means, right? Away from the cord or away from the tangent. Uh, so inside is right here, just like I kind of drew it up right there. Right. Inside and outside. So the outside's measured from a, the cord length at the tangent. And uh, the other is uh, inside is measured directly from the tangent, perpendicular from the tangent. All right, and then uh, that's really what we need to do. You could have got some other ones in here. Jacks and irregular jacks, exponentials. So then you get meters, you, you'd have in uh, how many decimal places I think you want that. Hit store again, and you get decimal degrees. If you went floating right there, it would just give you, instead of hundreds, it would give you the, the eight decimal places or something. And fractions, all right, and that's pretty much it. So then I hit clear. It's real simple, 100 foot. And then uh, that's a radius, you have to hit convert. And right there you see radius is in orange. That's why we hit convert first, you hit arc tells you that your radius is now 100 foot and 50 foot oh, I did something wrong there 50 foot and then we're gonna hit arc uh, no run sorry that uh, tells you you run and it's the width of the cord not half the cord like you would in, in each triangle and then uh, that's it you hit arc tells you the degrees that's the and I'll show you where those are the arc angle is the let's see if I can do that right now I'll do it later and hit arc again it tells me the arc length but that's the the length of the arc uh, just, you know between the the cord there arc arc and then that tells you the area that's inside the segment above the arc above the cord to the circumference it tells you the pie the whole pie area and then uh, the rise is going to be the same for both and then the aw1 is going to be in both cases since it's they don't ask you ascending or descending it's always going to be from the middle the outside is going to be starts at zero so it'll still tell you that the rise is three foot two and an eighth away from wall is uh, the center is obviously zero just like this one, it's obviously three foot two, so they don't give it to you. It's a way. The first one would be one and a half down to three foot two and a half, eighth. And then this one, the first one's going to be three foot five eighths. All right. I mean, it's obvious when you have a drawing, but if you're out there in a the field and you're doing it off without a sketch, it's not that. Just need to know. And then uh, away from wall, so that tells you on centers, we change it to five foot arc. 
away from wall is three foot two, three foot five eighths, just like I said. And then you hit arc again, three foot two, right? Or two foot two, it just goes down to zero, right? Because it even because this is a even breakdown of five foot. The last one zero. Uh, if you wanted to, let's say, scroll through here. And you realize uh, you wanted to go the other way. Let's say you had it and it was on the outside. You can just go, you can hit clear. It doesn't get rid of that. No, it shouldn't. And then you go uh, convert store. And then store, 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 store. You can change it to inside or outside right now. And then hit clear. And then if you go back and just hit arc, it'll still give you the same information that you had. It'll go away once you, well, at some point it goes away. I don't know why there's... The rise and the run on your stairs goes away. But there you go. So it's giving you the rise. It's going to give you the pitch. I mean the uh, distance between the segments. And then it'll give you one foot, one and a half. So it'll start from the center. The first AW is one and a half inches because it's measured from the outside. So you were able to change it in the middle of the... Right? That's it. That's how you do the... Long radius on a Construction Master Pro, and I hope that helps you in your career. Have a great day.